I am trying to do and be the best person I can be. And I am trying to do what is right in this situation. Well, what happened was there was an oil leak and almost a million gallons of oil was spilled into Talmadge Creek and Kalamazoo River. Talmadge Creek is in Marshall, Michigan. It flowed all the way through Talmadge Creek into Kalamazoo River and into Battle Creek and Kalamazoo. It's uh, John Bowling Ball. Um, normally you don't see my face that often because I'm normally out in the river and videotaping and trying to show you oil that um, is in EPA cleared sites. When I say cleared, what I mean by that is they sign a piece of paper saying they're not going to do any more oil cleanup in that area. And they can do landscaping at that moment and they can put canvas over the, the area and they plant grass. Okay? Well, that means it's cleared. That means when I find oil there, that means that I caught them. Okay? I did that in at least a dozen sites or more where they say it's cleared, say it's clean, or clean enough to not go back and work, and I prove there's oil there, and I make them go back several spots and clean it up. And it's costing them hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. I mean, we're talking about a lot of money. This is about money, people. It's not about leaving oil in a little bit of area, and it's a pocket of oil. We're talking massive amounts. Um, one area has taken them almost a month to clean up, and they were just leaving it. It was just sitting there. And they started cleaning it a few days after my video. Another place, a field full of oil. I mean, just four or five acres. The next day after my video, they go clean it up. It sat there for four months with animals bedding in it and eating it. And I don't know how many animals it killed. But it sat there for four months. And how do I know the EPA knew it was there? Because they tagged it. They flagged it and the owners of the property says the EPA was there and Enbridge was there several times and they never cleaned it up. And they almost were going to let it say, stay because they said, their, their attorney said they'd get more money the longer the oil sat there. I'm not doing this, this ain't about money. This is about getting the oil cleaned up properly. That's uh, John Ball and Ball. Well, uh, they sliced all four of my tires so I had to pull my car out um, a little early. So that's all you did, people. Insurance will pay for new tires. I'll just drive my Mustang around and enjoy my day. Didn't bother me nothing. But yeah, it slashed off four of my tires. And uh, see all this? It's brake fluid. I pulled in here yesterday. This brake fluid. Uh, leaking out of my uh, brake line, of course, um, I got to look and see if somebody uh, tampered with it, and it's possible that they cut my brake lines. Thank God I didn't get in a wreck, and parked the car, got up this morning, went to uh, eat with a friend, noticed my uh, tires are slashed. So, don't know who did it. But I got some pretty good ideas. I'm sure everybody here has a great idea of who's doing this. So, all right. Looks like I'll be uh, just driving my car for a little bit. This is the company I worked for during the Michigan oil spill cleanup and they were a subcontractor of Enbridge. I'm just going to show you the documentation that was sent to my attorney and I'm going to read it to you word for word.